Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sticker Designs by Mel. I'm Melanie. So, this is a ginormous box. I couldn't even back up my camera far enough to be able to show you the whole box. So, this is an Erin Condren box, you are right. And I am so, so excited because Samantha and Tori over at Erin Condren were so generous. They sent me this box um, that has the teacher planner goodies, because if you know, if you've been following any of the Erin Condren news coming, that's been on Instagram and everywhere, um, they have a teacher lesson planner and teacher bundle and all the things releasing on Tuesday, the 16th, May 16th. So, they sent me this box of goodies to review. Now, it did take a little longer for this box to get me, but that's okay. Um, and since I was out of the country, I wasn't able to film when I got it, but I am filming it now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to release this video the early morning on the Tuesday. And I know that's different from everyone else. You will probably have seen the boxes from everyone else who's gotten it, but my thinking is... You may forget what's in the box by the time Tuesday rolls around. So, if I'm posting this video on Tuesday morning, you can watch it, see all the goodies that are in here, and hopefully click on all my links to go shop. Because when you click on those links, it helps me immensely so that I can show you guys all the new things. So, anyways, I haven't opened the box. All I did was, like, cut through the tape so that I could open it, and I just put this piece of paper here to hide my address. So, that is all I've done. All, and I just repainted my nails, so it's not very pretty because I did it super fast. But they are currently drying, so I'm going to be very delicate on how I hold things. But, let's go ahead and see what is inside the box, shall we? I'm going to turn it and try to do this without knocking my camera. And I knocked my camera, but that's okay. All right, here we go. So you can see all my cables and stuff over there, but that's okay, I will deal. All right, so this is literally how I've gotten it. I have not had a chance to look inside yet. So just going to, let me get my little, my little kind of exacto knife thing here to cut through this tape because I am not trying to ruin the nails I just painted. Ooh, look at all the things! Oh, I'm so excited. So excited! Look at all the things! Okay, there is a lot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the things out of the box because this box is taking up the entire surface area of my desk. I'll take everything out and then I will show you all the things one by one. So give me two seconds. Okay, so I've taken all of the little things out. So these are all like the smaller things and I've just put them on my desk. So I'm going to move these over and start one by one. So first we have this. It is a teacher sticky note box set. It looks really cute. So let me go ahead and open this. And I apologize ahead of time if anyone doesn't like the sound of plastic being opened but I do want to be able to show you what's inside so when you open it first you have these top three and I yeah there are sticky notes so when you pull them up they're sticky on the back so very nice so you have the top three probably like top three tasks you have to do for the day anything like that oh there's a few here hold on okay so there's this this and then this okay so we have this one that says before school after school so if you have some specific tasks you have to do i would say there's probably about 20 sheets in here this one i would say probably closer to 50. this is just a simple notepad or sticky notes with um, a green apple this is another simple sticky notepad with a it's so it's a pink background with a red apple and this one has this beautiful color at the top with a checklist so these are cute and then these bigger ones that we're hiding in the back we have this one it has prep grade and contact which this is really good this is really good to have to put in your teacher planner, whatever you have to prepare, anything you have to mark or grade, and people you may have to contact. So that's good to have. And then here we have today, you can write the date up here, 
and it has priorities and anything you have to prepare and another box. So these are really good to have. Um, and I am a teacher. If anyone is new to my channel, I am a high school teacher. And I have to be honest, sometimes I struggle finding teacher-related items because I find a lot of teacher-related items are very much geared to elementary teachers. Nothing wrong with that, except that it doesn't really apply to me. So just checking my nails. Okay, so that was cute. Then we have this notepad. It got a little damaged in shipping, but I'm not too stressed about it. And it says, in my classroom. So you have a spot for checklist, a spot for contact, prep, and anything else you may need to write, and a spot for the date at the top. And these are just sheets. They're very thick. Like, very, very thick paper. I would say there's probably about 30 sheets here. So these are really good to have. This would be good to just put on the desk, on the side, and anything you may need to write down would be good to have. So it does have a nice backing to it. So that is nice. Just stack that up there. We have this two-sided dashboard. It's from the Etta V collection. So if you are familiar with the Etta V collection, this is a universal snap-in to-do dashboard. So let's see what it looks like. So on this side, we have copies, grade, and contact. There's a mark all the way down. But anyway, so anything you have to photocopy, mark, anyone you have to contact. Here you have a to-do list and looking ahead. So really nice. And this has like a rose gold foiling to it, which if you all know me, you know rose gold is my favorite. So this will be really nice to add to the planner. Then we have, ooh, the Cool for School Designer Sticker Book. Oh, I love these sticker books. I really, really, really do. I love using these in my planner. And by the way, I don't know if you noticed, but these ones used to open this way, but now this one opens this way. So it's really cool and has a nice um, thing here that you can close it back up. All right, so we have these headers that go inside the planner. This will fit perfectly. I'll show you after where it would go. These are uh, gold foiled. These are some to-do lists, and these are silver foiled. We have some apple boxes, and these are, I want to say, rose gold. We have all of these stickers that say meeting, conference, testing, or IEP, which is perfect. We use the same terminology here in Canada, at least in Ontario. We do uh, IEP, an ind individualized educational plan, so... I forgot to mute my laptop. There we go. And these are all on clear paper or clear. They're all clear stickers. And we have some gold as well. So that's really good. Then here we have field trip, assembly, observation, library, personal day, development, planning, and early release. And then we have break begins, break ends. Oh, and tutoring up there. So we have a few things. Now, we don't call it early release. Not a huge deal. We just call it early dismissal. But, I mean, I get the point. It's for my own planner, so I'm not going to stress. These are also on clear. And we have some silver foil. So these are really nice. Then we have these stickers, like this time to that time. A whole bunch of birthday stickers. These amazing quotes here are always nice to have in your planner. Like, you make a difference every day. You don't just teach, you inspire, believe you can, and you are halfway there, and so on. Ooh, creativity is contagious. I like that. So, some nice quotes to add. Some more of those boxes to put in your planner. Some circles. These are rose gold foiled. Some more clear stickers. And these are, like, all the bullets or check marks, that kind of thing. Um, so, they're clear, but they're colored. And they are all with a uh, gold foil. Yeah. These are some check boxes with silver foil. And then we have some larger boxes with note to self in rose gold foil. Love, love, love. Cannot wait to use all of these. And let's see if I can do this without ruining my nail polish. Probably not. Eee. Oh, I did it. There we go. Okay. So we have the stickers, so that's exciting. 
let's get on to the pen. So we have this dual tip list markers. So it says we have hot pink with black tip, an aloe with a black tip, a lagoon with lagoon tip, orchid with orchid, orchid tip, navy with black tip, and a gray with a gray tip. So let's see. How do we open these ones? I need this little guy again. Try to get this open without hurting myself. All right. Let's see what these look like. Ooh, very nice. I'm going to need some paper. Where's my notepad? So, funny thing, I am working on a release. So, my new releases will be going live on Monday. Monday? Monday. So this is one of my new releases, a little notepad. So I kept this one for myself because I kind of tore the back here. I'm going to go ahead and swatch these. So let me zoom you in and I'm going to swatch these and see what they look like. All right. So first we're going to start with this one. This is the hot pink. So we have this one that is a check mark. Oh, that's cute. And then we just have the black felt tip on the other side, which I feel has like been pushed in. Can you see that? Does it look like it was pushed in? It doesn't look like it's sitting right, but it works fine. And that's all that matters. Next, we have this one. This is Lagoon. I believe this is also a check mark. Yes, very cute. And this should be lagoon color. Yep. Hello. Very nice. This is aloe. And this is a square checkbox. I didn't do that very well, but that's okay. This should have a black. Yep. Hello. I'm writing very quickly, so please disregard my handwriting. Gray is another square checkbox. You can tell they're new because they're very inky and they're like spreading. So that's the only thing. You don't want to push down too hard. Navy is another check mark. Ooh, that one did not come out well. I think this one's not inky enough. There we go. Took a minute. And this side, yep, is black as well. And then lastly, we have Orchid which is another square. That one's a little messy, but that's okay. And this one writes in orchid. Hello. Now this one, the tip is a little weird, but that's okay. It writes and that's all that matters. So these are these dual tip checklist kind of markers. So if you see here, it shows you which ones are check marks, which ones are the squares. So very nice. I really like these. So that's good to have. I might as well keep that because I have other pens coming. Next, we have this. This is the dual ink, dual tip highlighter pens. So these are similar to other pens I've had from Erin Condren. I don't know if I should take them all out. Maybe I should. Anyways, we have all of these beautiful colors. So it lists all the colors on the back. We have Orchid, Iris, Cornflower, Pacific, Mermaid, Spruce, Aloe, Marigold, Nectarine, Salmon, Raspberry, and Peach. And they all, I believe, have a black felt tip on the end. So they are just meant to be highlighters. So that's the highlighter. That's the Peach. And then this is the black felt pen. See how the difference between the 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 nib at the back it's different it's not so like pushed in but that's okay this one is raspberry i like that the name of the color is written on the barrel so that's raspberry very nice this one is nectarine so this is probably going to be like an orange Ooh, yes i like that color I'm going to have fun playing with these. Let me tell you, this is marigold. This should be a yellow. Oh, gorgeous. Love it. Just making sure that the felt pen works on the other end as well. This is aloe. I love how they've decided to name these. 
So that's a nice green. Then we have salmon. Oh, okay. So this is probably one of my favorite colors. Um, not to mention another company, but another company that I was a fan of, still Emerly, um, had this highlighter that was like an orange red color. And I think it's very close to that salmon. I just love it. All right. This one is spruce. So this should be like a darker green. Oh, no, it's more like a, mm, I don't know what kind of green that is. Almost like a neon green, but very nice though. Very subtle. This one is mermaid. Oh, this is going to be like an aqua turquoise. Oh, gorgeous. I love the color. Okay, if you guys know, I love all my colors, so this is going to be fun to play with. Pacific is the next one. That is a baby blue. And like I said, I'm just testing out the felt at the other end. I know they're all black. This is cornflower, so this should be like a purplish blue. Yep. And, yep. This one is iris. This should be a purple. Yep, a deep purple. And I know I'm messing up my nail polish, but I don't care at this point. And then this one is orchid. It should be like, maybe like a, yeah, like a lavender kind of color. Very nice. I love, love, love these. Love, love, love. So, um, highly recommend these dual ink, dual tip highlighter pens. These are probably going to be some of my go-to for, like, all my planning. I mean, how, how useful is it to have the highlighter and the black felt pen together? So, so excited. I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in so that I don't lose any. And can I just say I'm running out of space for all of my pens? But I guess that's a good problem to have when you are a planner. So, and it has this nice little case. You can keep it in if you choose to do so. So, so in love with those. All right. Next, we have this washi. I might as well go, go ahead and open it. It says teacher washi tape for pack. It's four rolls of 16 feet per roll. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. Try to do this. Okay, not necessary. Somewhat. Okay. So first we have this one. It says inspire, learn, teach with these dots. So let's see. Inspire, learn, teach. Let me get another sheet here and we'll swap this. So inspire, learn, teach. Very nice. I like that. That is so, so cute. All right. And then this one we have, oh, this one has like things to do. So this one has grade to copy, to prep, to call, to follow up on. Oof. That's a lot. All right. Let me just tear this one right here and let's do, we'll do half and half. So we'll do to call, to follow up on. And this one was grade to copy to prep. Now, however much I love having the option of the different words, I don't like that I have to hunt it down. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know if this would be something I would use often because I have to look for the words I need. But I mean, it's useful. Don't get me wrong. It is useful. I just feel like there might be some wastage. But that will be fine. Then we have the apples, of course. I don't know, honestly, somebody, can someone tell me what the history is with apples and teachers? Is it because Newton got hit with a, an apple on the head? So the story goes, is that why teachers are associated with apples? I don't know. But we have the apples, and then here we have a very colorful washi, which is gorgeous. This is really nice. Now this would be hard for me to match with anything because I don't usually do a lot of super colorful things in my planners, but it is a nice washi. So those are the four washi rolls that you get with the teacher launch, I guess, if you want to call it. So super nice. Love it. Put that aside. 
All right, we are moving on. Next we have the teacher record book, which so, so good. I had bought, I think, now if this is the same thing I'm thinking of, I had bought one that was on coil, I believe. This one is soft bound and it is using the Eta V um, design. Now, as an affiliate who got chosen to do this, um, I guess, show and tell, if you want to call it, for the launch, I did get to choose which pattern I wanted. And I chose to go with Eta V because last time I tried to order Eta V items, I was not able to. It said that the items were not available to Canadians. So I figured if they were going to send me this, I was going to take advantage of getting this. Now, I'm not 100% sure if that is still the case. I haven't tried to order anything else, but I will check and let you all know. I'll leave a note in the description box. But this is gorgeous. This cover feels so nice. So it says you're making a difference every day. You open it, teacher record book. You have your class schedule, classroom events and dates, communication log, which is never enough space for me. We have some graph paper for seating, and then we have all of the checklists that you could possibly need as a teacher. So all the checklists. And there is a way for you to fold or cut along this line if you need to use more than one list per class. And after that, we have a whole bunch of lined paper, which is always helpful for all of the notes. So love that. So this will definitely come in handy. I'll probably be, wow, learn to speak. I will probably be using all of these things next year. I'll be holding on to them for September. Um, these will be amazing to use for next year. Next, we have this snap-in teacher dashboard. So let's open this one. See what it looks like. It says, stay on track and in style with this wet erase and dry erase portable and repositionable dashboard. Track your schedule before, during, and after school with this dashboard and stick to your schedule. Whether you're developing a class curriculum or tracking your daily duties, this dashboard allows you to easily check off responsibilities, set goals for the week, log reflections, and more. Super helpful. So we have this. Now it does have a rose gold um, foil to it. Again, perfect because I love my rose gold. So it says, learn from yesterday, teach for today has Monday through Friday, and it even has a small little spot for Saturday, Sunday. Realities of being a teacher, you have to plan lessons and you have to do marking and grading and all the things on weekends. So we would like it to end at the end of the school day, but it doesn't. So anything you have to do before school, anything you have to do after school, you could list it here. And then on the back side, we just have these six boxes here that we can use. Uh, put whatever headers we need to put and put whatever notes we need. So this will be helpful to add in the planner. And then I think this is the last thing before I get to the bigger items. These are some covers. So let's just look at that, shall we? So first we have this beautiful cover here. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see. Okay, so first we have this one. It says, education is the greatest opportunity. Love it. So gorgeous colors. Again, as usual, you get the dashboard on the inside. I love that it has this heading, a checklist, and then the two spots. And then on the back, you have this long lined area. And the very back, the beautiful florals. So that's one of the covers. The other cover, this is a vegan leather cover. Let me just tell you how much I love these vegan leather covers. Now, the last time I got a vegan leather cover from Erin Condren, it was not punched like this. They were like permanently installed on the planners. You could not remove and put them back on unless you uncoiled your planner. And I don't know if anyone has ever tried, but coiling and recoiling against like a leather the coils don't spin very well, so that was stressful. This, however, is going to be life-changing. This beautiful vegan leather feels so soft, and I love this, like, 
almost like a soft, dusty rose kind of color. I love it. And this is the back. It has Erin Condren. The inside is very plain, just has this nice gray with these asterisks. So nothing fancy, but absolutely gorgeous if you want to add this to your planner and just add a nice soft touch to it. So love that. Now, let me get all of the wrapping off of this desk and I can show you the big items. Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at is this beautiful vegan leather clip folio. So excited when I saw this at the bottom of the box. Yeah, let's just say I'm very happy. So, sorry, I just hit the camera. But let's go ahead and open this puppy up. And I'm loving this color palette. The very soft, dusty roses are just beautiful. Alright, so... This is called a leather vegan leather clip folio. So has this beautiful gold kind of embossed asterisk pattern on the corners. It's beautifully stitched. It's like it's a little bit padded, so it feels very nice, very soft. Ooh, look at that. This will be heavenly to have for my classes. I just totally messed it up, whatever. Anyway, so we have this nice pocket here, very well stitched. Let me just make sure you can see that. So a beautiful pocket here, very well stitched. You can stick anything in here that you need to. So it's a very deep pocket, so it'll fit things. Three pen loops, always good to have a pen loop. This I imagine is just a spacer, yep. We have this beautiful lined notepad. All it has is the kind of Erin Condren logo on the bottom and this beautiful clip here. So all you have to do is do this and there you go. You can walk around the class with a beautiful clip folio. I love this. This is so nice. What's anything on the back? No, on the back we just have the Erin Condren logo in a gold foil. So nice. So, so smushy. I like it. I'm so excited about this. All right. Okay. Yeah. The next big thing that needs to be shown is, ta-da, this beautiful large champagne. I want to say it's kind of like a planner cover. The color is champagne, which is gorgeous. It's like this very soft kind of gold color. It's just beautiful. This is vegan leather. Super, super, super soft. All right, open this up. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Now, how gorgeous is that? All right, so we have a couple pockets, which has a snap closure. So it's one pocket, really, with a snap closure. Is it? A, yeah, it's a snap. Very nice. Then we have this corner pocket here, a pocket here, probably for like pens or whatever. This is a pocket, a huge, huge pocket. Then this is a pocket on this side. We have this ridiculously huge corner pocket here, and we have a pen loop. And then the entire thing is closed with this magnetic snap. Now this is for the planner. So as soon as I show you the planner, I'll show you how it fits in here. All right, last item. All right, the last item in the box. Can you guess what it is? No? Well, here. It is the planner itself. So this is the gorgeous 2023, I think. <laughs> I think it's for 2023. I have to double check. Anyways, it's a gorgeous teacher planner. Teacher lesson planner. Teacher planner, however you want to call it. It is beautiful. So this is, again, the Etta V cover. Love it. It has rolled gold accents. I just can't, cannot get enough of it. It has Aspire to Inspire on the bottom corner. It has the multicolored coil. Can you see that? It goes from purple to, or like a teal blue to purple to pink. Very nice. We have the snap-in ruler as usual. Now let me bring you 
Anything fancy? Nope. The back is the same. Gorgeous. Let me go through it so you can see the inside. So when you open, you have the same dashboard as usual. You have the a place for header, to-do list, and two boxes here. Then you have the teacher lesson planner title page, as always, that this book belongs to. Here you have an all about me section. I honestly, I never fill this out because I am worried all the time that if my planner gets lost, I don't want them to have all my info. So I try not to put personal information in these planners, just strictly like planning things. We have events and volunteers. Now again, for high school, there's really no volunteer situation. So I don't ever need to use this page, but if you are an elementary teacher, or even if you are a coach and you have volunteers that help you coach a team, this would be helpful. So always good to have. We have the communication log, two pages of that. And this book is big, just so you know. Let me get my ruler. This is an, I want to say, it is an eight and a half by 11. So it is a full size lesson planner. So this is not a small puppy this this is the real deal so we have the communication log it has date name reason uh, or resolved then of course you have the calendar so you have july all the way to december 2024 so this is for the 2023-2024 school year which is perfect we have the boxes as usual. Now, the one thing that people had talked about in the last launch, and I have to agree, is notice how this box starts in January. Now, the school year starts in, like, August for some people, September for most. I know for me it starts in September. Why would you start these boxes in January? I don't think that... that I think that's one of the things that is kind of lacking. This needs to be either July, August, or even September. I'd be happy if it was August, and then all the way to the end of the school year down here, instead of doing the calendar year, because school years don't follow the calendar year. But that's just my thing. Then you end up having to write here, fill in these months, and then you have to go all the way back here. It's a little confusing, but you make it work. Then we have graph paper as always this is good to have if you're doing seating charts or anything again all my seating charts are done on the computer it's a program that we have to use as high school teachers here in Ontario it does all the seating so I usually just print it out and glue it in that way I have them here um, but also they change so anyways then you have a couple line sheets more line sheets. This one has lines, but then at the bottom it says dates to remember in July. So that means this is the cover page to July. I honestly don't do anything teacher related in July. That is my month off. Gladly I take it off because the, the school year is exhausting. But you do have a full monthly calendar for July. Then you have the usual teacher spread starting in July. So it starts on Monday, July 3rd. Everything is vertical. These are the spots at the top here that I mentioned that those stickers would fit in. You can make these your subject headings. You can make them the periods. It, you can make it whatever you want to make. Um, I honestly don't know if I'm going to follow this layout. In the past, I have changed and I've made my subjects go on the left side here. And I've put the dates along the top. So I've put Monday through Friday and then I've used these two for Saturday Sunday and then I've put my four subjects that I teach well actually three subjects and then my prep period and then at the bottom I usually put any notes or anything else, else I have to add for me it just makes more sense that way because I only teach three classes I don't need to have six like long boxes so that's just how I do it but again this is versatile enough that you're able to make it work however it works best for you. So you go all the way to the end of the month with the weekly spreads. You have a couple line sheets and then you go into the next month. This one is August. So again, you have the monthly and then you have your 
weekly spreads. Now it is color coded, so the colors here will match the color of the tab. So August is yellow, these lines will be yellow. Again, I'm not too worried about that. I think it adds a little pop of color to the planner. I don't use a lot of stickers in these planners because it's mostly just to plan my lessons, but the Too, school, too Cool for School stickers do end up making it into here. So anyways, we do have September, which is purple. We have October, which is orange. November is blue. I don't even know if you're seeing the, the months. December is green. January goes back to this uh, teal-ish blue. February is like a deep pink. March is like that... Oh, I don't know. Like a... I don't know what kind of green that is. It's a nice... It's a nice soft green anyway. It's pastel. We have April, which is like a bluish purple. May is always this peach color. And every time I watch Julie from Julie's Plans and she mentions the peach, <laughs> I can't get over it because honestly, it's true. People are kind of sick of peach, but whatever. Then we have June, which is this green color. We have July, which is blue. Of course, because the 4th of July, you know, red, white, and blue. Well, you know, it's what I'm used to. And then you go into, so the end of July, you have your usual lined sheets of paper, a couple sheets. Then you go into checklists. Now, this book does come with a fair number of checklists, I, I will say. You get so many. So look at this. All of these sheets, they're all checklists so you don't really need the other book but the other book is useful to have as a backup or however you want to do it but you get a lot of checklists and it's the same thing you can cut along the line or fold however you need if you want to like you know use the same names that are here for these marks you can maneuver it however you want so when you get to the end so you get the last checklist here you have, of course, the sticker section. So this first one has a few rose gold stickers, staff meeting to do, no school testing. PTC is something that I think is more of an American thing. It's a parent teacher committee, I want to think. I think that's what it's called. We do have those kind of committees. We just don't call it PTC. So I think I've heard PTA before, too, for American. I'm not sure. Anyways, but we do use IEP, so I understand how it works, so I can still use it. Then we have these stickers. We have the first day, 50th day, 100th day, last day, the apples, great job, big day, those kind of things. A bunch of flags, and these are these rose gold as well. I think these are rose gold as well. That's exciting. I love the rose gold. These are gold. And they are these header boxes. So these are the ones I was telling you go at the top of the page to put like the, the course header or whatever. So you have some quotes. And then you have the usual Erin Condren labels. And these have the silver asterisks. So very nice. And then of course you have a pocket. Always good to have a pocket here. Then at the back you have two, right? Two. Oh, no. One, two, three. You have three of these really heavy-duty, and I mean heavy-duty. Like, these are thick, thick plastic. You have three of these plastic sleeves. In the first one, you get these sheets, which, again, I'm going to say, we talked about this last year when I looked at the planner and other people did as well. Like, why are they white? Why is it all white? This is, it has the gold accent, but why is it all white? You have this gorgeous planner with all this color. Why is this white? I I don't get it. I mean, it's useful. It's it's still beautiful with the gold, but why is it white? I don't know. Anyone? Anyone know? Anyways, it is useful. You have all of the important dates, like all the extra important dates that aren't written on the monthly calendars. So you have from July 2023 all the way to December 2024. So these are all extra holidays. Now, I will say, let's just look right now. No, there is no Canada Day. 
So we still don't make it into the calendar. We still don't have Canada Day. They have Independence Day, of course. But there's still no Canada Day. People, we are your neighbor. We're like right next door. Can you please add Canada Day? It would be so helpful. So, so, so helpful. I mean, at least that. We're not asking for all of our other holidays, like Victoria Day, all that stuff. But at least add Canada Day. I mean, it's just one extra sticker. Just one. That's all. But it's still useful to have these. I am thankful. I just don't know why it's white. But I'll deal. So three gorgeous heavy-duty pockets. And then, again, the back, this lined kind of dashboard you can write with a wet erase, with a dry erase, however you want. And you go to the back, and this is the cover. So that, my friends, is this gorgeous teacher planner for 2023-2024. I am so excited to jump into this one for next year. Okay, so now that we've looked at the planner, let's look at how it fits in this beauty. So here. Let's move this aside for a second. So many things. Everything's going to start toppling down. Okay. Open this up. Oh, I can't even back up my camera enough here. Let me see if I can back it up a little bit more. Okay. That's a little bit better. Here we go. So this. Now I'm assuming if I want, I can kind of like slide this in here right oh all right so we'll do that and then come on this one oh how do we do this again there's a trick to doing this what's the trick how about we just do this all right Oh, well, it's a snapping cover, so that's fine. I just unsnapped it. Here we go. We'll just slide it in and then snap it back in. We can do that. Now, the only thing is it does hide the beautiful Etta V cover, but, I mean, if you want it to work this way, you don't have to slide them in. You can have your planner just sitting inside. I just wanted to see if it would fit if you slid in the cover, which it does. Look at that. Look at the beauty. Look! It's gorgeous! It fits! It fits so nicely. There is extra room to grow. It's not, like, tight. There's still room... So you don't have to worry. Now, I probably won't. Let me just undo this. I will probably leave this one out like this. And just leave the other one inside to stay. That way my planner is not sliding out of the folio. But then I can still see the beautiful colors. Yeah, I think I'll probably just leave it like that. And then I can close it like this. And then we're good. So I think that is gorgeous. I will be able to put so many things in here. Like, for example, if I wanted to use, like, this notepad here, I could put that in here. I have a notepad. I have all space for all the things. I can even put my ruler there. All the things. I love this. Love, love, love. Love this cover. So I'm so excited about having this cover. For this planner, so nice. For next Love it. Year. So let's recap. We have the planner, which came with this ruler. Let me just snap it back in. See, it snaps in super easy. No problems. We have the vegan leather clip folio. We have this snap-in dashboard. We have these other covers. So we had the vegan leather cover we had this cover and we had this dashboard so let me just lay this all out so we can see everything not even sure we can see everything we had the teacher record book we have the sticker book we have these 
dual ink, dual tip highlighter pens. Again, if you're going to get anything, get the planner and get these pens. And maybe with the sticker book, you'll be set for life. I'm telling you right now, the planner, the stickers, and this set of markers here, perfect. Just perfect. These are also very useful. But like I said, if you had to pick just a few items, if you're on a budget or you don't want to get all the extras, I'm telling you, the planner, this pack, and this sticker book, you're set. Then we had this beautiful notepad and these sticky notes. I mean, what else could a teacher ask for? Oh, hold on. The washi. Can't forget about the washi. So that is everything that was in the box. I just cannot believe it. This is an amazing launch. Amazing product for teachers. I think a lot of thought goes into these and I do appreciate that. Uh, obviously, I still had some questions, you know, why are the stickers white? Um, but I mean, all in all, I think a lot of thought goes into these planners and I do know that they do talk to a lot of teachers in the U.S. to kind of get feedback on what would work in their planning system when they come up with these things. So I think this is really well done. I am happy with all the things, all of these things I will be able to use. There is not a single thing here that I won't be able to use. So I am excited about that. So I wanted to share that with all of you. I hope you've enjoyed seeing everything that is that I've received as part of this launch. Obviously, there are so many other things that are part of this teacher launch. I will try to link all of my items in the description box once they go live on the Erin Condren website, because right now you can't purchase any of these items, but I will make sure to um, link them. And I am asking all of you, if you are going to purchase anything, please, please, please click on my links. They are affiliate links, but it doesn't cost you anything at all to click on them. All it does is it gives me a few extra points and then it helps me be able to order things to show you all and to do giveaways and that kind of thing. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of this. I am so excited about this. But that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much, everyone.